How's it going everyone? As you can see, we're building another chassis. This week we're building the GRK5. We're going to fulfill it with Acuvan Jarvis XX, Agile Tempo 5 Turn Motor, and a Patala CD700 and GYD550. But first, we're going to hop on a plane to Austin, Texas to go check out the hobby shop. Landed in Austin. Ah, uh, Shane. We got Miko. And it is a weird video because I was talking about the GRK5 and now we're in Texas. So, yep. As soon as lunch ended, we headed straight to the hobby shop. The hobby shop is about 30 to 45 minutes away from Austin, Texas, and Leander. And everyone there is just so nice and friendly. And it's just always a good time. We're at the hobby shop right now in Leander, Texas. And tomorrow's a mat story, but everyone is already here. We're fitted right here. And I'm driving the GRK5. GRK5, yeah. <laughs> Shane can't decide what chassis. <laughs> Miko's chassis is for sure, Rev D1. Yeah. So. I used the majority of the stock parts except for the shocks and this battery tray. Overall, she's doing pretty good. So these clips are actually from the night before of the Matsuri. It was already pretty busy. People came in early to get some more runtime. As you know, when it gets busy, sometimes there is traffic on the track and you just gotta focus on keeping it fun. Excuse the video quality on this one. This one is direct from a cell phone through a WhatsApp message. Shout out to the person that recorded it and sent it to Miko who in turn sent it to me. It was a pretty busy day so I didn't really get any videos of myself driving. But here's one. are at the hobby shop for their swap meet. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of them places you gotta plan it as a trip. If not, it's nah, no, not, not, not planned. We just did it. Aside from drifting, we found ourselves playing RC Auto Vault. This was pretty cool. It's kind of like Rocket League, except with RC trucks. After that, we got curious and we decided that we needed to play with a basher. So we borrowed the Hobby Shops, Traxxas Max, and that was a lot of fun. After Texas, we actually headed straight to Super G for some testing. It was on a Tuesday night, and I just wanted to see how my GRK will do going from polished concrete into P-tile. As you can see, I opted for a high battery mount. I just wanted to see how this would perform with the battery fire onto the chassis. The goal for me was pretty simple. It was to retain the snap that the GRK5 naturally had, yet maintaining smoothness in order to keep it stable throughout the corners. I just find that there's something very satisfying about tuning this chassis. I've never really tuned an inline chassis or an inline motor chassis before. 
so this is all new for me. But yeah, here it is. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if there's anything else I can do, let me know. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe 